Okay guys, I'm sitting here in front of my sewing machine and there is actually really no way around this. I've been watching the videos by Alexander Dyer and uh, the thread tensioning is a critical thing when you are doing projects on your sewing machine. Like I have here the Juki DU 1181N. And as you can see from this one, the stitches look pretty good here on this side, but you tend to, if you look carefully, you can see that something is poking through there on the white one. You turn it around and what do we see? Well, we see that the white is sometimes poking through the fabric, whereas sometimes it's not. And uh, the, the biggest hurdle in, in adjusting the thread tension is uh, related to the, the fact that you don't really have a starting point, a good starting point. You are uh, messing with the aspects of the thread tension, which is of course related to the bobbin underneath your actual stitching and uh, the thread tension that you adjust on this knob up here. The general rule is that you should adjust most of the thread tension up on this knob up here, whereas the thread tension related to the bobbin underneath this one should be, well, not necessary to change that much. Although I have been on to both of them now, on and off and on and off, just to be able to get the perfect stitches. Now, I've come to the point that there's no, no way around this anymore. I need to exchange one of the threads to a white one and keep the dark one on the top. So I'm gonna do that because that way it's easier to see if you are in the correct regime or not. So here's another example. This is just another fabric I'm going from this one over to this one. And you can see I just made this stitch over here. And looking at the stitches from this side, now this is the upside. So these stitches over here are related to the knob up there, whereas the one on the other side are related to the thread tension of the bobbin underneath the sewing. Now, if you really look carefully, you zoom in here, you can see that on this side, it seems as the, the thread from the underneath is not poking through. And we're following the line here right in the middle. Now, I wanna turn it around and show you the other side. Now, I'm gonna go from there. And we know that it's this one is corresponding, this one is corresponding to the one I just showed you. So we're looking at this side and here with the same color on both sides, the upper thread and the lower thread, it's really tricky to, to see. Like for example, maybe it's poking through there and maybe over here, but I can't really tell if I have adjusted the thread correctly. Um, so I've got now to exchange one of them to a white. So I've just winded up more thread on this one and uh, this is a Tex 135 and it's exactly the same as I have on the upper thread. So the thread dimensions match each other. So I'm looking at different videos on YouTube like most of you guys and having said that the bottom thread tension uh, shouldn't be adjusted that much. Well, where should you start? Well, in this case, I've already lost where I was in the beginning when the machine was delivered on the, this holder for the bobbin where the setting was. But in some of the videos, it said that the thread tension should be pretty light so if you're looking at the one which is underneath. So I'm pulling here and this is about what I see is what I perceive that people have is just, I can pull it out. If I twist it around my fingers that you can make a comparison and I, I pull, now you see how much deflection I have in my skin here. And there we go. Now I'm holding against, I should not do that. 
all right it should be rotating freely okay there you see so this is how much deflection I have it's not going to make a big mark on my skin but that's where i start so now i will increase or reduce the thread tension on this one if it's needed if it's not needed i will just stick to fixing the thread tension on the top knob this is this is what's actually lacking in the instructions where to start with the bottom thread tension i know it's not a very precise engineering measurement but you can see how it works so now you can see that i have two threads installed here and although one of them seems a little bit thicker they're actually exactly the same size these threads they take 135 so they're 135 grams per thousand meters so now we're going to check and see how this emphasizes itself when we start sewing the first one so here you can see the result of my first attempt to sew across this camo fabric and you can see that this is the well this is the top side going facing upwards towards me and you can see that the white thread is poking through you see it's coming up everywhere and that essentially means according to what i've understood or read from the youtube the tension of the thread on the top is a little bit too high so it's pulling up the thread on the bottom although well i had quite some good thread tension on the bottom so i don't think that i have the wrong thread tension on the bottom but i need to have a little bit less thread tension here on the top let's look at the other side and you can see what the stitches looks like over there so this is the bottom side and here you can see that the threads or the, the stitches are actually looks quite all right there is nothing of the dark thread coming out on this side so here we need to pull the thread on the other side upwards in this direction towards this side which is the bottom side essentially we need to loosen the thread tension on the top so here we need to loosen this thread tension here and that's being done by pulling it in counterclockwise so i'm twisting it and to do this now i have a mark there as you can see i'm going to take it half a turn and that's half a turn and now we're going to do the stitches again and see we can move the center of the thread or the interconnected thread to more towards the interior of the fabric so we don't see this white dots coming out here on this side and you see we still see the white coming up there so we're gonna loosen it up even more now counterclockwise to avoid pulling up the white thread still coming up that's one turn now that's one and a half turn you can see i started over there you see quite a lot of the white coming up and then as we're moving along and i'm reducing the thread tension from the top you can see that the threads they start to become like bumpy waves here so essentially what you can say from this is that it was pretty good judging from how the thread or the stitches came out in the beginning somewhere right here in the middle so up here are th reduce the thread tension one and a half turn and the threads they start coming up like small mountains you see the close up here i think that tells me that i have to go down to the 
other side and increase the thread tension a little bit on the bobbin on the bottom because somewhere there is where I think you should be and that is going back now that was one turn and then another quarter so that means that I have now not reduced the thread tension on one and a half but three quarters of a turn because now you see if I reduce the thread tension even more these mountains are going to get bigger so I need to increase the thread tension on the bottom side so this is where we started and to increase the thread tension on the bobbin here I'm not going to do much I'm just going to do a quarter of a turn clockwise this much and we will see what this does to the threads if this is going to remove the white stitches from showing up on the top side of the fabric. The white is still coming up. So I'll give it another try to loosen the thread tension a little bit in this so it's one turn loose or less tension on it since we started and then we see if we need to go back down underneath again now and let's take a thorough look at what happened here this is where I started. You can see the outer line, circum well, the, the stitches that was going around. You can see we always see these white dots coming up here. And then we did our first try here. It's the same here. And I only worked on the top knob here. And I said that, well, as we progressed and loosen up the thread tension on the top knob to be able to uh, allow for the white thread underneath to pull down the top thread we see found that losing the top thread actually result in these small mountain bumps here and I still want to have kind of nice and some tension in the stitches so that was unsuccessful so in this case over here we removed it back to one point instead of 1.5 turns around loosen up from the top knob we reduce it to one turn now reduce tension from the top knob and we didn't see much of a difference but we increased the tension on the bottom side to allow for the bottom pulley or the bobbin to pull down the, th the white thread more apparently that didn't show up as much of an effect and I've even loosened it down to three quarters of a turn over here on the top top knob for the top thread but we start seeing some progression towards a better situation here and if you're looking from a little bit of a distance you can see that these white dots over here are a little bit smaller than the ones over here and definitely smaller than the ones over here now it's a very subtle difference but I'm giving you as close up as I can here to show you but this tells me that I need to increase the tension a little bit more on the lower side on the bottom side underneath so we are now from going on a quarter of a turn from the original setting I'm increasing the tension another quarter of a turn that much so that's half a turn from the original setting I should keep this one straight like this now we will see if the bottom thread with this tension and you remember how much tension we had when I was pulling it before now it's actually more resistance here you see the deflection on my skin 
is higher or more greater than it was in the beginning. It's still not extremely tough to or hard to pull it out, but more tension that we had from the start. What you see now is the result of increasing the tension half a turn on the bottom side, on the underneath, on the bobbin, while maintaining, while I reduce the thread tension, I increase the thread tension half a turn on the bottom side of the bobbin, and I reduced the thread tension one turn on the top knob, on the top surface. And guess what? You can now see that the white dots have disappeared and we only have the dark thread. Here you have one white dot and these ones are all completely fine. We will turn it around and see if we have another problem now showing up on the other side. And yes, we start seeing the dark thread coming out on this side. So now we know that we have, we are in the regime where we're actually making a difference. So now the top stitches are good. We went from this to this to this to this, and then to this. But, as we did that, we went from this, to this, to this, to this, and then we start seeing the green thread coming up on the bottom. So, I will increase the thread tension here now. Quarter of a turn. Increasing the tension on the top, a quarter of a turn. Stitches are still fine on the top side. On the bottom side, we can see that everything becomes a little bit more tight as compared to the previous one where we saw the green thread poking through a lot. Now it's poking through less as you see here. So another quarter of a turn. Okay guys, to conclude this video, I will show you something important that I've noticed now. So we went from something that looked like this. Obviously, we had the white dots coming up everywhere there. It seems like the thread, well, the tension, the thread tension on the top thread, the brown or the green one, is so high so that it pulls up the white one. Now, we worked our way through increasing and decreasing the thread tension on the top and on the bottom. And at some point, I was able to come to the situation where we can see that there's no more white showing up on the top, like here, for example. So you guys would say, oh, that's the best one. Then I turn around fabric and then we start seeing that there's a lot of green thread showing up on the other side. Well, so I tried to adjust this and I went down to adjusting quarter of turns on the bobbin on the bottom and on the knob of the top. And somewhere here, I thought, well, now we have pretty close to good thread tension on the top and an accurate thread tension on the bottom. Then I went quarter of a turn back on the thread tension on the bottom and the white one starts showing up again. Now, Looking at it, what we see here is that the white one shows up here on this side, and then I turn it around. Now, let's see which one it is. Is this one the second last one? 
is this one. Then we start seeing that the green one is actually showing up equally many times on the other side. So this fabric that I have is so thin when it's just double layer, so it pulls through equally much the thread tension or the thread on one side as on the other side. So I'm going to be satisfied with this one here because the other color is showing up equally frequent on both sides. Now, if I had a thicker fabric, we would only see one color on each side. So this is how you can adjust your thread tension and a strategy to reach the best thread tension. Now, if one thing that these stitches are too, well, high tension on them, then you need to lower the tension on the top knob equally much as you lower tension on the bottom. And bobbin. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps you out in investigating your own thread tension settings on your sewing machine. Cheers.